Hello, this is Kyle Horst with Kirksville Web Design and Google Sites Web Design. Uh, another video tutorial here. I'm uh, going to walk you through a bit more information about images, uh, how to make images spaced out across the same horizontal line. Uh, you'll get what I'm talking about a bit later here, but um, also. Uh, deal with uh, drop-down boxes of the horizontal navigation. Uh, so images and navigation, that's a little bit a little bit more clarification on those two uh, uh, categories uh, today. So I'm gonna start off here, I'm gonna uh, go to my baked goods section of this uh, sample website I'm making for a bakery. I go to uh, edit page for example, and I'm going to show you how to build basically like icons like one by one right next to each other. Uh, and it requires a little bit of uh, HTML uh, editing in order to uh, get this to look nice or else you're going to really be frustrated with the formatting of Google Sites, uh, dealing with wrapping images uh, in, in the text or in the content areas. So, um, to find some images, first of all, uh, if you go to my blog, there is a, a, a page on resources and links. And here I give uh, various uh, helpful uh, resources for web designers, as well as uh, places to look at uh, free uh, images, free icons. So this is the one I'm using, this icons.mysitemyway.com. And I've already opened up here, so you can see. And uh, going with the theme here, I'm going to work in some a pink icon set, uh, food and beverage, and there's many to pick from uh, here at this website. So uh, I'm just going to pick out some so that I can give you an example. So I'll choose this coffee cup, right-click on it, copy image location. Now you can either you can insert images in two ways. You can uh, use the URL uh, of the image directly, or you can uh, download the image and uh, upload it from your computer. Um, I think, for some reason, websites prefer that you download it and, and uh, upload it from your computer that way, but just for the sake of an example here and, and simplicity, I'll use the URLs. So I've copied it and I'll paste it in in the insert image of the uh, editing bar. And so I've been given an image here uh, and it automatically will give you a link and it will have text wrapping off and I, I'm not intending to make these uh, uh, linkable uh, images but if you wanted to all you have to do is hit this change button and make that a link to wherever. Here, I'll show you just as uh, just for learning purposes. So you can put a web address or link to one of your other pages. But I'm just going to make it an image. So I'll input that one, and I'll go down to the next line and input another image. Let me get another URL here, though. Uh, I'm going to scan through. I saw one of a pie earlier, so I'm going to use that one stick with the bakery theme here. Copy the image location, go back to the site, insert image, go with the web address, paste it, it gives you a nice little preview there. It says rem remember not to uh, copyright or to whatever. <laughs> Be aware of copyright infringement. That's what I meant to say. Okay, so I got two, two, two images here. And again, I'm going to remove the link component and go down to the next line. And I'll insert a third image of a. Uh, I don't know. That's fine. Anything will do. And I'll put the third image in here. Okay, and again, I'll remove that link. And so I've got these three uh, exactly spatially equal uh, icons, 
and I want to change them from this vertical layout to going horizontal. So I go to the HTML and remember to select uh, the content space that you're in. Don't choose one of the columns below if that's not what you're working in. And so you'll see here in the code the first thing should be this div style dividing style and you want to highlight that all the way to the end bracket uh, I guess those are called brackets, I don't even know what those are. But you delete that for each of the images. And update it. Alright, see it's that easy what you've created there. And let's say you wanted to space these out more than they are, because these are as closely com compacted as they can be. But you just click on one of the images, hit the right arrow, meaning you're going to the next space to the right of that and it kind of gives you that in-between area and so you can just add space as you as you need and so like for each of my three columns here now I have icons and this can be useful in, in different facets I mean you can make this essentially your navigation um, instead of using a Google's suggestion here for the horizontal navigation because th currently they do not support images. You're pretty much using text and a, and a hover uh, element to it that uh, changes color or what have you. Um, so that's, that's useful to know. And uh, just for another learning experience, I'm going to go back to the home page and, uh, and show you guys how to use an image as a link within your own like website uh, let's see so I'm going to go back to my icon set here and uh, pick out something else let's see I'll go with that uh, that coffee mug if you click on it it gives me an even bigger image and so I'll use that as, a, as an icon uh, save or copy image location back to the website insert image insert the web address that, that's like a huge icon right now but you can make it <laughs> that is ridiculously big uh, I'll make that a lot smaller there you go and center it up and I'll change this link to one of my existing pages like the baked goods and click OK and I'll want to kind of get that label to direct people to click on it say uh, go with a format here subheading and uh, I don't know uh, order baked goods for the morning for instance uh, maybe that needs to be a bit bigger. Yeah. Whoa, too far. There you go. And like, uh, click above. And so what you've created there.